Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. If you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Your bath's ready.
Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX-400 around 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. The damn thing jumped on me. I managed to defend myself, but it went crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Let's hope they find it fast. It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just Dad. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. We can't change the past, Alice, but we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Finished getting ready? I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Anderson, Detroit police. Looking for a female android. Robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ben, yeah, it's still at the motel. It says the uniforms are cordoned off the area. I'm headed to his room now. You wait in the car. I think it's best if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. It's gone.
fuck, that's them. Hey, stop! Police! Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Get yourself killed! Do not go after him, Connor! That's an order! 